Okay. Oh, there's my grill. Erased from our memory, but not our dreams. Oh, I got some new pictures? That one's new, I guess. Okay. A lot of our special poems are fucked up. One of the 11 special poems. DDLC selects three random special poems to appear when it is started for the first time. What? CGs. What is a CG? Sketches. Prompt. Character graphic. Can you hear me? There's a little devil inside of all of us. Beneath their manufactured perception, their artificial reality is a writhing, twisted mess of dread, loathing, judgment, elitism, self-doubt. All thrashing to escape the feeble hold of their host, seeping through every little crevice they can find in their willpower, starving them of all motivation and desire into their stomach, forcing them to drown their guilt in comfort food, or a newly opened gash in their skin hidden only by the sleeves of a cute new shirt. Such a deplorable, tangled mess is already present in every single one of them. That's why I choose not to blame myself for their actions. All I did was untie the knot. So, the... Loathing? I think judgment is Natsuki. Elitism is Yuri. Loathing... That's either Monica or Sayori? Self-doubt. Each one of them is one of them, for sure. Yuri's definitely the cutter. Natsuki, comfort food, get starved by her dad. Yeah, I don't know. I think Monica is untying the knot. What's this shit? I hate this. I can't do anything, nothing. No matter how many times you play, it's all the same. It would be really, really easy to kill myself right now. But that would mean I don't get to talk to you anymore. All I want is for you to hate them. Why is that so hard? It's gotta be Monica, right? Yeah, that's not happy. Yeah, we might have to delete Monica. Oh. oh, wait, did I click new game? meant load game. Uh... I think this is the last one. They want me to make a poem. <laughs> I guess we're gonna go Yuri again, right? It made us go Yuri, even though I pitched Natsuki last time.
the fuck is this shit? Okay. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. What the fuck was that? Did you see that? Did you see them? Hi, Dralaric. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Badaka, I told you not to. Ugh. Is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member would hurt, as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. So, Matsuki... Nobody cares. Why don't you go look for some coins under the vending machine or something? Is is that Monica changing what she's saying? Untying the cord. Oh man. I'm the last one here again. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. Ha ha ha. You must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make it time for piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival, too. Anyway, Dralaric, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. Ah, uh, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Dralaric is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've gotten him into literature, Monica? I... I suppose. I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes, um, thank you for understanding, Monica. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Here he stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a water pitcher from the shelf. The kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Here he hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk and then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. But that's okay. 
You stay here. That won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Pizza Pizza, thanks for the prime. Ah, uh, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. 10 minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decide to go look for her. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Ha 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 ha. What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. A sharp inhale like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Yeah. Mmm. Tralaric, do you like oolong tea? Yeah, anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature to 200. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea? <laughs> In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Ah, uh, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You he must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show. And you noticed... I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. Turns out it's not very hard for me to do, when it's you who's around anyway. Ah, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Dralaric. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I keep up with this. I watched Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Traleric, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Uh, why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Ah, uh, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly. So I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely because my... Uh... My, my... Your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading. Yes! I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit on the bar. Our boobs are big. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag. Uh, I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies. I take it, since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I sit against the wall teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. 
How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but she's being less apprehensive. It's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand, that's not holding the book. I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression. I can only presume the world around her has faded away. Valkyrie, thanks for the five months, Prime. I use all of my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally managed to relax a little. Nuclear fish, thanks for the sub. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Uh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish up the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Uh, that's... That's okay, I won't take any. Uh, are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then I might get smudges on the pages. Uh, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Gary opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case... Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate and hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if this situation was completely natural. That means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at it like she needs to confirm what just happened. Uh, um... Draleric? Sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh... Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I... I can't. Draleric? Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Traleric. My heart. My heart won't stop pounding, Traleric. Can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Traleric? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It even makes me want to not read. I just want to look at you. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. thanks for the sub. You could at least have given me like a, a handy or something. Jesus Christ. What the fuck, dude? Just, just need to. She just needs to go. Chill for ten minutes. Take care of that. Uh, um, it's to share poems. Who should I show my poem to first? Here, Monica. Traleric, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, 
she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. It might even be like a sexual thing. But the point is, you've got to kind of been in, you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault though. But I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So if I think you keep your di I think if you keep your distance, that'll probably be best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in the head. And I know how to treat my club members. Anyway, I worked really, really hard on this poem, so I hope that it's uh, effective. Here goes. 